people around the world love coffee and spend hours a week brewing it, waiting in line for it, and drinking it. But other than being a stimulant that millions of people are addicted to, does it really do anything good for you? in your health today. More and more medical studies are showing that a little coffee can go a long way and may be one of the best things you can do to help live a longer and healthier life. So says top expert and best-selling New York Times author, Dr. Bob Arnott in his book, The Coffee Lover's Diet. So an enormous study, basically published in the New England Journal of Medicine, the August National Institutes of Health, five million consumer years of coffee drinking. And what they found is they found a very clean group that didn't have any of these bad behaviors. And they found a staggering 15% decrease in all-cause death for, for women, 10% per men. And that meant that heart attack, stroke, diabetes, neurologic diseases like Parkinson's, all caused a staggering, probably the best single thing many of us can do for our health. Dr. Arnett goes on to say that the active ingredient is not so much caffeine as it is polyphenols. What are those? Well, polyphenols are the things that make fresh fruits, vegetables, red wine, green tea, and olive oil healthy. There are many, many more polyphenols in coffee than anything else. The right kinds of coffee can decrease your risk of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, stroke, even accidents and infection. He also says that dark roasted is not as healthy as light roasted and beans grown in the higher altitudes are best. But if you don't plan on climbing a mountain to go get your morning cup of joe, store shelf Dunkin Donuts coffee is one of the most healthy, he says, especially if you avoid any added ingredients like sugar and cream. The right amount of coffee though, that's different for everyone. But studies seem to indicate four to six cups before 2 p.m. is about as much as you really should be drinking and overdoing it could have some very negative effects if you're on certain kinds of medicines, says board certified family medicine doctor Mike Varshavsky. First, it affects the absorption of the medications. And studies have actually shown that common over-the-counter meds like ketoprofen, which is very similar to ibuprofen, and paracetamol, which is similar to Tylenol, are significantly impacted by coffee intake. The second is through the disruption of the metabolism of the medications through enzymes. For example, the blood levels of clozapine, lithium, warfarin, and several antidepressant drugs actually were increased after the ingestion of coffee, making them more potent and potentially increasing toxicity. And the third is through the disruption of excretion of the drugs, basically how long they stick around. For more from today's experts, use the links below. You're watching America's Top Experts.